Hello! Glad you could make it tonight. Welcome to Strawberries Gamer Society. And let's see here. There we go. Hi! So where am I? All right. So earlier I was having some trouble connecting to our realm and it was like disconnecting me repeatedly and hopefully I have done enough rebooting and restarting everything that it'll stay connected for the stream. But if it disconnects, then I'll just have to try something else. Um, so when last we left off, um, then last night's topic was um, uh, anxiety and how to deal with anxiety sort of in the self-help sense. But I would like to remind everybody, let me go to my, my sign over here. Uh, I would like to remind everybody that if anxiety is getting out of control, such that it's difficult to do the tasks of daily life, like going to school or going to work and um, doing self-care, all of those sleeping, eating, exercise, things that we talked about uh, over the previous days, then it's time to seek professional help. Uh, most people uh, go up to 10 years if, with living with mental illness before they actually seek professional help. And by then, it you know, you've lost 10 years of your life. So if you do it sooner rather than later, then it certainly uh, gives you a chance to get to recovery faster. Um, and there are things that professionals can do to help. But if you're not in a place where uh, you're feeling the need for professional help quite yet, then there's things you can do to do self-help. And last night, I guess, actually, why don't I just go review the other signs from last night? Last night, we talked about the four thinking traps you can get into if you're, if you're having anxiety. And there's the perfectionist, thinking that everything has to be perfect before you can... If you can't see it as perfect before, then it's difficult to start. Uh, there's the shoulder of, I should have done this, I should have done that, and it keeps you up at night. Hello, glad you could make it. I was just reviewing a little bit from last night before we start with tonight. So yeah, you're, you're, we're talking about the, the anxiety thinking traps to try to get yourself out of. Uh, there's the mind reader thinking that, oh, I know if I ask this person for this thing, they are going to say no. And being a mind reader is a thinking trap that you can get yourself into when you're experiencing anxiety, especially if you do it again and again. And there's the catastrophizer of everything is going wrong and um, it's, a, the, the, what's the worst that can happen? Well, that's the thing that's probably going to happen. If I take this plane ride, then clearly my plane is going to cr crash or I see a spider. Oh no, I'm going to get bitten and be allergic and puff up and die and uh, think the worst of everything. So that is the catastrophizer. And yesterday we talked about our ways of coping with uh, anxiety. So there's breathing. So breathe in for five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it for five. And breathe out for five. Uh, there's thinking about a positive memory and focusing on every little detail of that positive experience to help get you out of the thinking trap. Um, Consider, so constructive thoughts that you can have. Consider how someone you respect would handle this situation. If it's uh, getting on an airplane, for example, then how would someone who is brave handle this situation and think, can you emulate that? Um, and think you can be successful. So we talked about there's the trap of, oh, it's not going to go well. There's what's the worst that can happen? Think about what's the best that could happen and um, concentrate on those thoughts to get yourself out of the mind spinning uh, other thoughts and then use your skills. So 
whatever skills that you have in your situation, if you're having, um, for example, bullying problems in school, if you, and you have the gift of humor, can you use your skills of humor to redirect the bullying behavior that you're experiencing and uh, figure out how to get out of it? And there's so many different varied ways that you can use your skills. And then the next one that I am going to add here is meditation. And we didn't get to talking about this last night because meditation is basically, uh, let me put six. Meditation is a whole night all on its own. So that is the topic of tonight. And I guess I should say any, any questions so far and yay, all the regulars are here. Awesome. I'm glad you guys could make it. Uh, so yeah, the meditation is, so, um, I looked for my book on meditation and I couldn't find it. So a lot of what I'm talking about is memories from a class that was literally 10 years ago. Um, and then I've uh, also, you know, I did my research. I looked up meditation on Wikipedia and it's really funny. The definition on Wikipedia, Wikipedia starts out with, well, meditation is so varied with so many different practices. I shouldn't dig potatoes with a spoon. That was silly or with a shovel. Okay. Uh, meditation. There's so many different practices of meditation throughout the world that it's hard to give any one definition of meditation. Um, but so one of the things that they all tend to have in common is basically using, using your mind to change your state of mind and um, uh, coming to a calm state of mind with uh, using meditation techniques. And there are many different meditation techniques that are possible. And let's see here. Yeah, so on its face, meditation seems kind of pointless. You're not sleeping, you're not getting anything productive done, and it's not even fun. Yeah, the easiest meditation is sleeping. Yeah, you're not sleeping though when you meditate. You're, you're not getting anything productive done, and it's not even really fun to do. It's not like um, what I would call the self-soothing behaviors of gaming, which is, it's pretty fun to game, but it's, there's not fun in meditation typically. Um, and so why, why do we do it? What does meditation do for us? And it, what it is, is it helps get your state, your state of mind into a calm state of mind. And it's an important tool to have in your toolbox. But the thing is, you kind of have to do it at times when you're already in a good state of mind and practice meditation when you're in a good state of mind, because when you're already spiraling out of control with your thoughts of all these bad things are going to happen, it's very hard to begin meditating at that point if you haven't previously practiced. Because when you meditate, it's like you're doing it all the previous times that you've ever meditated. You are also bringing those experiences in to your current uh, state of meditation. So I'm going to wind up needing new ho really soon, but oh well, here we go. We'll just use it till it's gone. So how do you meditate? Um, and why do you meditate? So, oh, that's right. I forgot. I haven't put the water in yet. I knew there was a reason I hadn't done this yet. Okay. And I broke my hoe for nothing. Okay. So with uh, meditation, then one of the ways, so there, there's many, many different ways to meditate, but uh, one of the ways to meditate is to sit quietly, breathe in, breathe out, and concentrate on a single phrase. So it should be relatively short, it shouldn't be, according to the class I took, it shouldn't be something set to music. And I kind of 
question that, but that's what they said is don't have it be something set to music because apparently that engages a different piece of your mind and come up with a mantra that works for you. So the short phrase is called your mantra. And if you come up with a mantra that works for you and try on several different ones and hopefully you'll be able to come up with one that has meaning for you that's fairly short. short. So something along the lines of, I am lovable and capable, or um, I think I can, I think I can. Or in my case, uh, because the meditation class that I was taking was, uh, it was sponsored by my church, so it was kind of religiously focused. Um, the phrase that I chose was, um, uh, so this is from, this is from a story in the Bible. So Jesus, just as he is about to be, uh, killed on the cross or, well, I mean, like he's in the process of dying on the cross, then he is, uh, next to two different robbers. Um, and one of the robbers says to him, like realizes that Jesus like really shouldn't be killed because he didn't do anything wrong. And one of the robbers says to him, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And that one, for me, it struck a chord because it's like, uh, and some, some variations of that are like, uh, Lord, remember me a sinner when you come into my kingdom or when, when you come into your kingdom. And for me, that one just struck a chord because, uh, it, it worked for me. Uh, I don't really know why, but it's just like, it helped me remember and it helped me f focus. And, uh, yeah, I was always so confused on what a mantra was, but I understand now. Yeah. It's just, it's a phrase that helps you focus. Ah, three things that three things cannot long be hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Yeah, that, that's a possibility. And are there different types of meditation depending on your belief? Absolutely. Yes. So there are lots and lots of different ways to meditate, uh, depending on your belief system. And, um, for me, like I didn't really want to, like I was taking this class primarily because at the time I had a two year old and I was exhausted and I needed, uh, I needed a little bit of time and the church was offering a meditation class with free childcare. And my two-year-old really liked the, um, church nursery and she liked the ladies who worked in the nursery. And so it was kind of like, you know, if I take this class, I can have some time to myself for a little bit. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I took the class. I know there's a crafting table. There it is. Um, and so, so I took this class. I also had a friend who wanted to take it and, um, taking classes with friends is always nice. And so this is going to break so fast, but who cares? All right. I'll just make three of them for now. Um, and so the reason why I took the class is mostly because I wanted the free childcare and I had a friend who was taking it, but I learned some things and it was like what they recommended was, you know, you try to quiet your mind and you try to get silence in your mind. And my mind just doesn't shut up. Like literally I would be there trying to have a quiet mind and sit there in, in silence. And my brain would literally be screaming silence, silence, silence. And, uh, I, it, it was, I was not very good at that. Um, and, but over time it was a six week class and we did like 20 minutes of meditation each time. And over time I did get better at it. And one of the reasons for using the mantra is because it helps focus your brain on one thing and uh, not worry too much um, about trying to make your brain totally silent. I know I had more potatoes than that. Where did they go? 
Did I plant all of them? Maybe I planted them all. Okay, let's just harvest the carrots. And yeah. Uh, let's see here. I like that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, learned it from Teen Wolf. Okay. I haven't seen Teen Wolf, so I haven't seen that one. But yeah, you just, yeah, it, I mean, it could work. I, I mean, I think it should work just fine with a song stuck in your head, but the theory is that songs activate a different part of your brain, and so it should be a spoken phrase instead of a song, but, you know, uh, do whatever works for you. And so the, the idea is that you sit there for, like, I think 20 minutes is considered to be ideal, but uh, some of the research I was looking at this afternoon says as little as eight is fine, and when you're just starting, then two or three minutes is good enough um, to try to get the practice. And what this does for you is that once you're in the habit of entering that calm state of mind, it becomes easier and easier to enter that calm state of mind. And so if you practice when you're already calm to begin with, then when something upsetting happens or when panic begins to set in, if you've already practiced being in a calm state of mind and you've got your phrase, it's easier to return to that phrase and return to that calm state of mind when you when you need it so it's kind of it's like putting tools in your toolbox and for some people like if you don't need it you feel like okay what is the point why am i wasting my time doing this when i could be doing something productive i could be getting schoolwork done i could be sleeping why am i doing this but if you put in the practice so you've got that tool in your toolbox then when you receive a piece of bad news or something difficult happens, then you've got tools in your toolbox to be able to mentally deal with it at the time. And so that's why it's an important thing to, you know, try to do in advance. And so there's other forms of meditation. So that one where you just concentrate on a single phrase, that's, that's one form. Um, another form of meditation is where you, uh, let's see here. I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, another form of meditation is where you have what's called a guided meditation. So in a guided meditation, then you listen to, you know, a, a like a, a pre-recorded recording, or maybe you have somebody doing it for you in person where It'll be like, okay, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Imagine your body is floating on the ocean and, you know, think about the gentle waves lapping you from side to side. And it'll just take you through a visualization. And um, when I was doing childbirth, then um, for, for the first kid, then they... Uh, the the anesthesiologists at my hospital went on strike like one week before I was scheduled to deliver and my OBGYN said okay we, they've got anesthesiologists but they're scabs and I've heard not so great things about them and so if you can do natural childbirth I highly recommend it Oh, I didn't extend the water this far. That's why this is having trouble. Okay, and so she said, if, if you can do natural childbirth, I recommend it. So yeah, hip, hypnobirthing is like hypnosis. It's basically, it's doing hypnosis in order to relax your body and take your mind away from what your body is doing in the process of childbirth. And uh, yeah, so you remember you're celebrating your aunt's birthday and then it ended quick because one of your aunt's friends got killed. Oh no. So you went to your room and just kept thinking and then fell asleep. You felt so relaxed at the time. I was still overthinking. Yeah, wow. That's, ooh, that is pretty serious. Ouch. Oh, that that is a horrible thing to have happen to anybody. 
That is definitely, that counts as trauma. So I'm sorry that happened for you, but I'm glad that you had a coping mechanism to deal with it. And I hope that by now you have recovered from that trauma and that you are able to continue on with what they call the activities of daily living. Because that does not sound good. Yeah, <laughs> so unfair. Life is unfair, isn't it? Hmm. And yet, somehow, we've got to just keep soldiering on and trying to make the best of the world that we've got and the luck that we've got. So, um, yeah, where was I? So, yeah, it was, uh, uh, hypnobirthing was what my doctor recommended that I try. It's like, she said, okay, of the childbirth methods, of the available um, childbirth without anesthesia methods, so no drugs, hypnobirthing tends to have the greatest success. And so I gave that a try. And part of that method was they had a bunch of CDs that I was supposed to listen to and basically do guided meditation. That's what it was, was um, just it would sort of guide you through a relaxing state of mind. And um, my actual plan, um, if you need to know, was uh, for me, another thing that takes my mind away from things and distracts me well is gaming. So I loved playing Civ 2 and I could play Civ 2 in a very like that I could totally tune out the rest of the world while I was playing Civ 2. So my actual birthing plan was to play Civ 2 until the baby arrives. But it didn't quite work out that way. We, we did, in fact, uh, when we got to the ending parts, it was just a little too hard. So uh, we did w wind up breaking out the, the special relaxation CDs near the very end. But for the most part, I played video games till the baby was born. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you are feeling better now. That That is good to know. Um, so yeah, so there's regular meditation where you meditate on a, uh, a mantra. And then there's guided meditation where you meditate while you're listening to somebody else take you through it. And then there's what they call a walking meditation where you're moving your body and um, walking around. So one of the ways that people do that is um, using, basically, instead of having words going through your head, you're moving your body while you're trying to uh, uh, empty your mind. And one of the things that, that happens there is, or, or one of the ways that people do that is they go to a place where there's a labyrinth. And a labyrinth is kind of a maze, except there's only one way in and one way out. Uh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you played it so much uh, that you, your parents took the game away. I understand. Yeah, self-soothing is a thing that people do with video games. And it's like, it's not a bad thing to self-soothe with video games unless it becomes an obsession where you are not soothed unless you're playing video games. And so that that's, there's the, the pluses and minuses there, but in general, video games are a great way to self-soothe when you need to. <laughs> um, at least I think so, because for me, then video games, as opposed to like when you're playing the game and you're making the decisions, then you're actually still engaging your mind in healthy and productive ways. It's not like uh, just watching entertainment. Um, and like, if you're just watching TV, then that's a different experience. Oops, uh, that's a different experience. It's, it's different than when you're actually making the decisions and playing the video games and like, I don't know, where does this count? You guys are engaging with me when you're watching, and I know some of you guys watch me to go to sleep, so um, that's great too. Um, 
Uh, and so anyway, that's my, my note on video games and entertainment. And I think video games are a great form of entertainment, personally, as long as you are capable of making other choices. As we say in our family, make good, make healthy choices. And sometimes the healthy choice is to play video games. But back to walking meditations, then um, labyrinths are a way to do a walking meditation. And basically it's like, you're supposed to walk very slowly and deliberately into the middle, go in the middle, sit for a few minutes, and then walk slowly and deliberately out again. And the things that you're supposed to be thinking in your mind, like you can think whatever you want, but basically you're supposed to be collecting up all your worries and fears and anxieties, and then you get to the middle and you leave them there. And then on your way out, then you leave them all behind and you leave the labyrinth with a clear mind. And uh, that is one of the ways that people use labyrinths as a walking meditation. Uh, let's see here, what else did I have? Uh, I think that is everything that I have done on meditation. So, <laughs> so much food. Yes, I, I am. I am just harvesting all the food because harvesting is something, it's kind of tedious. I haven't made a, uh, something that collects all this stuff automatically yet, but it's something that I can do for the most part while talking and thinking at the same time. Like, I don't have to think that much about what I'm doing in Minecraft right now. So I can relegate the Minecraft parts to lower order functions of my mind uh, when I'm just harvesting food. But that is all the, all the main stuff on meditation I have for tonight. Any questions, comments? Yeah, meditation is good for anxiety because then when you start to have anxiety, if you have previously practiced meditating at times that you were not anxious, then it is easier to help yourself use that tool to get to a calm state again. <laughs> Those plants look thirsty. Oh, yeah, so let's go fix this up over here. <laughs> Um, all right. So this part has water. It just needs to be hoed. And then I need more dirt. Um, I do not have more dirt. Okay. Oh, and it's nighttime. So that is a great time to go back to our little uh, outbuilding here. Our little house and see if there's any dirt in here. Well, first let's sleep and then we'll see if we've got any more dirt or if I have to mine some more. Wait, I can't rest? There are monsters nearby? Oh, come on. Oops. Maybe try strip mining during my streams. Yeah. And then I might wind up with uh, more diamonds someday, which would be nice. That would be a good idea. But there's so many things that I still want to accomplish. So I was planning to make a little... Uh, let's see if I can sleep now. There's monsters. Where are the monsters? Oh. Okay, well, maybe we'll go to the other place. Let's see if there's any dirt here first. We do have some dirt. Ah, uh, you're thirsty. Oh, water check. Yes. Thank you, chat. I appreciate that. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Good point. Okay, wait. First, let's see. Can I sleep? Nope. Okay. So, let's go. 
Hmm, what should I do? I could go over here and make the potato farm a little bigger. Oh, first let's kill the zombie. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear you lost video. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll bet you there's just some problem with server lag or something. Oh, and let's feed the cows, too, because I'd like more cows. Oh, oh, yay. All right, I'm glad you got it fixed. Okay. So clearly I need to add another cow fence on this side for when I want to enter from over here. In the meantime, I know I put a fence here. Ah. Hey, cow cows, come and get it. Fresh wheat for you. And then we can make some baby cow cows. And then we can get more leather so we can make more item frames. Okay, let's come on over to the far side over here. And then I'm gonna leave you guys and go close this gate. Always close the gate behind you, right? All right, who would like to be turned into an item frame? You would? Okay, thank you. Come on. I have so much server lag. This is not even funny. Come on. There we go. Oops. What am I carrying? Okay. Well, I definitely don't need that many seeds. Okay. Excellent. So what I was thinking I'd do, so we, we were, so for those of you who have been streaming or who have been following me for a long time, you know that I was working on uh, making potions. Oops, you'd like to be killed too. Sure. Go for it. Uh, you know that I was working on making fire resistance potions so that I could be resistant to lava while I was trying to fix up my village. <laughs> and I don't remember. Oh, oh yes. Yes, you do remember that. So um, I now, well, I still don't have the nether wart. And so if I'm not trying to actually produce much content, I can go into the fortress in the nether and search for nether wart because that requires a little bit more. Yes, you remember the war against the blazes. And that requires a little bit more uh, uh, mental effort on my point, uh, on my part. But when I'm already done with the content, then I can spend a little more effort on, on making stuff. Okay, so let's see here. What do we need? Why don't we take one load of good stuff for the village over to the village so get a bunch of these and get a bunch of these and get a bunch of wheat so we'll do one round wait that is not the direction i wanted to send those one round of taking wheat to the village um, oh, and I don't need these wooden hoes. I'd rather have wheat. Um, anything else? Uh, I don't need spider string. Okay, I can take more wheat. Oops. Ah, that was not how that was meant to go. Okay, there we go. All right. So now... Let's go back to the other place where the nether portal is. So first we're going to go to the village, do one set of trades. Just to cut down on the excess inventory here. 
And that way we will have lots of emeralds once we have villagers who sell the books that we'd like to buy. And then after that, we'll go into the nether and we need nether wart in order to make our fire resistance potions. And more blazes wouldn't hurt either. But mostly we need nether wart. Okay, secret entrance. Oh, I don't have space for this. Well, let's just set down the stakes. Wait, uh, I have to put this in the inventory. Okay, we're going to set down the stakes again. And place that. And ow. come on, get off the ladder. Please. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I expanded the path here so that uh, owls, when she comes to visit and she doesn't have her soul speed boots, then she can get there without having to to uh, go slowly. Okay. Oh, you're the potato farmer. And I didn't bring potatoes because I'm still trying to maximize those. I don't have any spare potatoes yet. Uh, wait, what? Okay, here we go. Emeralds, 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 emeralds. Yeah, sorry, it doesn't work. I haven't figured out how to put commands in here yet. <laughs> um, and I need to talk with somebody who knows what they're doing because there's lots of choices for night bots and bots that can put the commands in there but when there's so many choices and no good way to choose between them I tend to go with whatever other people are recommending so um, I ran into one of dreams mods in dreams offline chat and I was going to ask her what dream uses and then use that uh, but um, she had chemistry class before I got a chance to ask my questions, so I'll have to ask later. Um, alrighty, here we go. So, have I sold... Wait, did I use up... Yes, I think I used up the other farmer. Yep, okay. So we'll just put the spare in the chest. Oh, I have spare carrots. Let's... And I have spare of these. Let's see if we can use up the farmer for these two. But we'll put the wheat in here. And, okay, Fossa bot. Okay. Oh, fa yeah. So I don't know which one's which and which one would be better and why to use one or the, over the other yet. So I was hoping to, to ask her why. And see, okay, wrong farmer. There we go. Ooh, this guy likes me. I get a discount. And now I've used up all the trades. Okay. Here we go. Put these things back away. Uh, do I wanna, yeah, I'm just gonna store the emeralds here. Somebody else might take them, but Hopefully, if they take them, then they'll share with me their good stuff. Um, okay, you know what we really need to do is we need to put an ender chest down here so that A, I could quickly transfer goods from the farm straight to the village, and B, I could store my own emeralds in here. That would be a good idea. Um, okay, to, to my house. Let's go. Yeah, so what's a Fossabot? So a Fossabot is one of many choices that a streamer has to be the bot that basically handles all those commands when people do, you know, uh, pound, uh, or not pound, uh, bang, um, bang followage and whatever. Okay, this is really weird. My mouse has stopped responding. Okay, there we go. Now I can see again, or I can change which... 
which direction my head is pointing again. Okay. And you see, this is why I needed all those cows was for all these item frames so that I can store all my stuff. Okay. So that is that. And this is cows and cow related things. Do I have a separate one for beef? I don't think so. Yeah. So we're going to put the raw beef in here too. Okay. And then wood products. We're going to ditch all the wood products in the wood bin, except for what I might need. And then mob drops goes in the mob drop bin. We have plenty of torches. Okay. We're going to put this back so that the kids don't discover the village. Uh, come on. There, got it. Yes, I have been chastised for not putting it in the right direction. Okay. So, let's see here. What do we need to go into the nether? Uh, don't need any of that. Oh, I gotta put the tree back. I do not need to take trees to the nether with me. Okay, and I don't well, actually, I might need dirt, or should I take cobble? You know, I need, I've, I've been using the dirt, so I don't want to, don't want to take the dirt. I'll take cobble for my blocks. Okay, so we have food. We have torches. Oh, we don't have water, which we don't actually need in the nether, but uh, I feel naked without water in my water bucket. So let's fix that problem. That won't take very long. And then we will head to the nether. Wait, I know there's water right along here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Water. And one of these days I'm gonna make a map so that I understand this area better. Okay, now, super secret nether entrance time. Oh wait, how is our stuff doing? Our equipment is fine, excellent. Okay, we have one dirt block ready. Switch to the dirt block, push the button, place the dirt block, and ah, get to the door just a little bit too late. Try again, dig. Prepare, push, place, run. Yes, got it. Okay. I am getting better at this game. Alrighty. To the nether we go. Now, let's see here. The way down, yeah, I think think oh there it is there's my torch path that's the safe route down there might be other ways down but this way I will definitely not die this is too wide because we originally took the horses from that location where the wither was spawned over to here all right Soul speed three hyper warp. One of these days, I want to take that saddle and go ride one of these little guys across the lava and just explore the nether a little bit more. But for right now, I'm just cruising. I love soul speed, it's such a great innovation. Even if it is a little creepy, like when those little blue skull things come up out of the ground, if you stand on it too long, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yes, it is very hard to explore the nether with a horse, but uh, riding those little, oops, I ran out of hunger. Riding those other little guys. Looks 
fun. Now, one of these days, I'm going to put stairs here. But I don't really feel like doing that tonight, so that's a future improvement project. First, I want to finish the obsidian wall around the village. Wait, did Dream escape? I didn't hear that. Okay, when you get to the two torches, turn right. I should really just put a sign there. You know what? I am going to put a sign there because I get lost too easily. Oh, I don't have signs on me anymore. Well, not this time. Okay, wait, this looks different. What happened in Rambo's stream? I did not see that yet. I saw a second stream after that stream where Ranbu was wondering whether or not the previous thing had happened. And he told um, Awesome Dude not to let him back in. Okay, so this is the part where the blazes were. You know what? Let's just give it a try. Okay, so block, attack, block, attack. Here we go. You know what? There's a lot of blazes here. I'm going to go the other way. Okay. And a skeleton? There we go. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Okay, let's not go that way. Let's look other places for nether root, nether wart. Oh, come on. Here we go. Okay. Let's explore the other parts of this fortress. Okay, yeah, why would he remember that one, not the other visits? Because he's been there multiple times. Dream said that. So I don't think he remembers the real visits, but only kind of the hallucination. Right, I remember him saying he, forgot the things, he forgets things easily, and that's why he wrote, wrote it down. Is there any nether root in here? Nope. Okay. Yeah... So I don't know why, uh, oops, another one, okay, I'm going to break this up again. Oop, blaze rod. Okay. There we go. Let's go the other way. You know, I need to bring a map because I get turned around so easily. But I think a map, darn, I picked the wrong button. I think a map would really help me. Because even though in another, a map doesn't actually show you where you are, it could show you where, like, where you've been, if you haven't uh, explored it yet. Yeah, so I have not explored this nether yet. Um, I think that Owls has done some exploring of it, but I'm not sure how much. So I don't really know, and I'm just going to see. 
there like a lower floor to this nether here that I can get into? Because it looks like I'm kind of at one end of it. Although I don't know how long, how far it goes in the other direction. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm here. Ah! Another one of these guys. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, and another one. Really? Ugh. Oh, well. Luckily, so for, if there's anybody here who's new to my stream, we play with Keep Inventory True on this server because we're just not that good yet and we play to have fun. <laughs> yeah. So now I just have to go back again. All right. But while I was here, what was the thing I needed to bring with me the next time I went? Right. A sign. Let me bring the signs. Are they in here? No, nope, they're in the other house. Okay. I should have slept in the other house while I was over there. Yes, I think nether fortresses are meant to be confusing. But I'm going to bring with me this time a map, which it'll just show like the top view but it'll at least show me where i've been and where i've previously explored so that when i get turned around i can know which way to go back again yeah yeah watching when the speedrunners do it like they are, just have such a good sense of direction in in the nether for me not so much. Let's see, is it this one? Yes, this is where we keep the blaze rides. Now we have seven. Uh, yeah, unless you, it's easy to get lost unless you place blocks or torches where you've been. That's what I usually do is place blocks and torches. But let me see, did I make a map already or not? Where, which bin would it be in if I had made it? Um, Oh, I remember. I think I got a map and put it in with the sheep at some point. Uh, no, not there. This one? Okay. Oh, there's a compass. I can make a new map. That uh, will do. Oh, water check. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, good night. Yes, good luck with your modules. Work hard at school, it's important. Okay, well let's make ourselves a map. Oops, I think that has to go in the middle, and I think I need paper all around. Nope. Oh, yes, okay. There we go, empty map. Let's use this while we're in the nether. Okay, wait. Uh to help us get around. Alrighty. Close the door. And this way. Yeah, when I turn, it's, I wish I were more consistent with turning as many degrees as I thought I was turning. Because in real life, it's like, if I turn to the right 90 degrees, I'm not going to, you know, mess up and accidentally turn backwards. But in Minecraft, if I turn to the right and I think I've gone 90 degrees, sometimes I can go considerably farther than that and then confuse myself as to where I actually am. Okay, into the nether. Maybe. We can hope that one day we'll get to the nether. What are those floating dots? Okay. There we go. Oh. Yeah, this is what it was doing earlier, and I totally rebooted everything. And hopefully... I think it's a problem with their servers, though. Not my computer, because um, Owls was having the same problem. All right, 
Follow the torch path. Down the stairs. Wait, what am I? Oh, right. I know what I'm missing. I looked at my hot bar and there was an empty space. And I'm like, what did I forget? And it's because I had that empty block for the dirt. Okay. Soul speed three. Activate. So this is the beautiful nether. Oh, whew. okay. Uh, I was getting bored and started looking around and then I got dangerous. I should just look in one direction. And maybe this time when I get close to the outside of the fortress, I should pay more attention to where it is. Like, so I know which part of the fortress I'm exploring. Okay, through the lava tunnels. Oh wait, jumping doesn't help. Jumping makes it slower. Oh. Eat. And go. Oh, and check on, I should check and see how's my equipment doing. Okay. My boots are a little damaged, but the rest of it's all okay. I didn't do that much last time. You know what? Maybe now is the time. I just keep traversing this territory. And I think it needs some stairs. So let's just give it some stairs here, shall we? Uh, should I make cobble stairs or wood stairs? Yeah, let's make cobble stairs. Oops, I missed. There we go. And... All right, stairs. Where do these stairs go? They go up, which is a Ghostbusters reference in case, well, I assume that given just who plays Twitch that everybody here is younger than me. Um, I remember, I am old enough that I was alive when Ghostbusters came out. Ah. Okay, let's just make this double wide just because I can. Okay. And now we'll have sturdy stairs. Oops. That's not supposed to go like that. All right. I must be getting tired or something. Yeah, tonight I can't hang out that long in Dream's offline chat. I have to try to get my sleep schedule back earlier because I need to do a thing Saturday morning that's synced up with the rest of the world. So both Saturday and Sunday morning, I have to get up early, which does not make me a happy camper. Okay, so this is what we can see from the outside. I have no idea how this fortress was ever found in the first place. I guess it must have been found like this. Okay. So there's that. Wow. I'm going to go down this way and see what we can see down here. Oops. Except I'm going to try to make this safer first. Oh wait. I gotta have bricks ready. Okay, let's brick that up. And I want to see if I can find a big... Oh yeah, and I was going to use the map. Empty map. So I think to use this, I right-click it. And now it is centered on me. Ooh, now it's darker. So now... I'm just going to explore this place from the outside 
to try to get an idea of what is here. Okay, so... <gasps> oh, I fell. Okay. And try to get an idea of the scale of this fortress and what direction it goes and all of that. the fortress. And if I go up this way, I will fall down. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So there's the jumping guys, and the fortress is going this direction. So I want to go this way and try to look for one of those staircases that has the nether root, or the nether wart, whatever it's called, um, on it. Uh-oh, that guy looks big and scary and he's looking right at me. If I just sort of run this way. Eat, eat. Okay, four. What? How did I catch fire again? No! I'm having too much lag. He didn't even attack. Okay, eat, eat. Eat, eat. Come on, eat, eat. It's not eating. I am having lag. Okay, let's see if we can run away. Oh, it wouldn't let me eat because I was full. That's why. Okay. Hearts, hearts, please. Okay. Oh, I should have brought my golden carrots with me. Okay, well. This looks like one end of the fortress here. Whew. That was tense. Okay, let's see here. Ooh. Yes, half a heart. I'm on half a heart. <laughs> Ooh, I've got I've got music. I could put up my my danger music. Uh, where is it? I'll probably die while I put this up. Okay. No. Um, there we go. This is titled "Danger Lurks." Okay. Uh oh, one of these guys, and I hear. That, uh, oh, shields don't work on these guys, and I'm on fire. Ugh. <laughs> okay, uh, respawn. Okay, <laughs> I'm still on fire, and I'm just having too much lag for this. Okay, oh, and I see is already after two, so. <laughs> This is probably a good place to end the stream with some nice... Yes, I did get further that time. Uh, with some nice relaxing music here. But let me turn that off to say goodnight. Uh... That's a good place to end it. So, good night, chat. I hope you have a nice relaxing time. Consider meditation as a tool to put in your mental health toolbox. Um, good night, everybody, and let's go raid somebody. <laughs>